Hey guys, it's Dave. Happy New Year to you all. This is literally New Year's Day and I am currently warming up my car in order to get to work to make some of that sweet, sweet time and a half, which I'm used to doing on Sundays because Massachusetts had time and a half on Sunday. They don't have that anywhere else in the world that I'm aware of. So coming in and being able to work a regular scheduled day and make time and a half is quite nice. Just sitting here trying to warm up my car because it's currently 17 degrees out. Now, I thought I was gonna get away from this type of weather when I left Massachusetts. It's cold, not unbearably cold. I can actually handle this uh, pretty well. I'm just wearing like a fleece jacket. I've actually got shorts on because the amount of moving around I have to do at work, it's not that big of a deal. Plus they have the heat on anyway, so it's not unbearable and I do warm up very quickly once I get inside. The weather here is very different though. We had, I guess what you could call snow, but unlike Massachusetts where you either have, you know, a very thin layer of frost on your windshield and then snow, you know, everywhere else, if it does snow, this all turned to ice. And like I said, in Massachusetts, when there's ice on your car, it's a thin layer of frost, scrapes off very easily. Down here, when I say ice, I literally mean like a millimeter or two thick sheet of ice that I really had to lay into to get off of all of my windows yesterday. And I did, thankfully, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Actually, I take that back, it really was bad. I had to really try to get this stuff off my windshield. I was out there for much longer than I wanted to be, mostly because, like most things, it's not the cold that gets you, it's the wind. Anyway, I digress. So a couple of things for my new video of the year. Um, starting out with some more personal stuff. I had mentioned before that one of the things I did years ago was a little video series called Project Stonecutter. Now this was back on my very first channel and it was when I was kind of struggling for some things to kind of talk about and have videos uploaded for. So I wanted to bring that back a little bit, not necessarily call it Project Stonecutter outright, but at least to kind of use it as a way to motivate myself for everyone's New Year resolution, which is to lose weight and get healthy. So I can already report to you guys that as of this morning, I weigh about 372 pounds. So when Kate and I first moved down here, uh, actually right before we moved down here actually, I weighed myself uh, and I weighed with 384. So I've lost 12 pounds since I've been down here. Um, now I haven't weighed myself since before moving down, so I have no idea what my weight was like. I can tell you that for the first two months I was down here, we were just sitting in a temp office doing absolutely nothing, no physical labor. We just sat at computers, stared at screens, read manuals, read trainings, went through training classes, stuff like that. So there was very little physical movement at all. Once we got into the building though, that's when things started to pick up. So I guarantee my weight fluctuated a lot. So I feel like I probably gained enough weight to maybe hit 390. And now I hear, now here I am on the low end of 370. Now, again, this is just kind of me spitballing numbers out and everything. I don't know if that's actually the case or not, but that's just what I feel like has happened. So I've definitely made progress. And now that the store is up and running full steam, I'm moving around literally five days a week getting physical labor done every day, uh, I have a feeling that that's gonna keep the weight going down. In addition, Kate and I have already tried eating a little bit better, just you know, kind of monitoring what it is that we eat. Not so much writing down every little thing like we used to with Fitbit, which again, we do wanna start doing, um, but it's enough that we are being a little more mindful of at least what we're putting into our systems. It's one of those things where you gotta develop the habit and eat the foods that are gonna be best for you. So we're gonna start doing a lot more meal prep. We're gonna start doing a lot more uh, like green shakes and protein shakes and things like that. Um, planning our meals ahead of time, doing uh, portion control, and actually having everything made before we even leave uh, for the week. So we'll see how it goes. And I think about once every month or so when I'm doing one of these videos, I'll be able to, to give you guys an update. Like I said, it's not gonna be like a regular series like when I did Project Stonecutter. It'll just be something nice to kind of, you know, give me 
material to use in some of these update videos. So now onto the voice acting side of things, which is what the channel is actually meant to be for. This past month or so has been a little rough. Uh, I haven't done any searches for auditions or anything like that, um, but as I did mention before, I went into uh, Soundcaden Studios to record my demo reel uh, with Amber Lee Connors and to get that done. Now, I did go in on, I believe it was the 28th or the 29th of November uh, to get that recorded, so the recording work is all done. I was told that it was going to take about three weeks to get everything produced, uh, mastered, and finalized and sent out to me. Here we are now on the cusp of five weeks, and I still haven't heard anything. Now, I'm giving a little bit of leeway, which I haven't told them about or tried to get in contact with them for, because the end of that three-week mark literally put them right in the middle of the holiday season. And let's face it, the, the recording even took place in the middle of the holiday season as well. It was recorded right around Thanksgiving and would be coming out around the time of Christmas. And let's face it, people are people. Like They have families, they have events to go to, you know, people that they need to see and take care of. So I'm, I'm understanding of the fact that it didn't come to me within that three-week period of time. Now, this upcoming Wednesday, like I said, today is January 1st, it's Monday. So this upcoming Wednesday will mark literally five weeks on the calendar since I've been in there and since I've gotten the recording done. So if I don't hear anything by then, I will be getting in contact with Amber directly. So Amber, I'm coming for you. <laughs> because one of my New Year resolutions, in addition to trying to get healthy and lose weight, which everybody says every year, um, but I wanted to have that demo reel in my hands so that I could start looking around for professional auditions and even to hit the pavement a little bit and go into Funimation and other professional recording studios and be like, hey, here's my professional demo reel. Like, I'm a voice actor. Let me act for you. So I want to start putting that to work because let's face it, I'm developing all these resources to use. I want to use them. So that's the goal for that. But unfortunately, I need the demo reel first. The only other thing to report in about as far as voice acting goes and it being a rough uh, month or so is that I did enter into Now Voice This, which was a, a voice acting competition uh, that was on the internet for all to see. and. It, anyone who entered had the opportunity or the chance to win the opportunity rather to go into Funimation for a contracted one hour voice acting session and it, there was no mention about what the project would be what character they would voice um, they said it could be you know a bit part it could be literally be making growling noises for animal characters and things like that Who's, who's to say? It was It's whatever Funimation needed you for, for that one hour. But let's face it, that right there is something resume worthy. It was able to get you in there with a contract and say, hey, I've worked for Funimation. I'm a good voice actor. Hire me. So unfortunately, I did not get through round one. There were over 1,500 people that entered, me being one of them, and only 185 people went on to round two. Now, while that is discouraging, the odds were heavily against me and the other people who didn't make it. And I take pride in the fact that those 1,500 people, myself included, actually went so far as to put themselves, or ourselves rather, out there to take a chance and to see where it took them. Now, for 185 lucky people, they got to move on, which then was whittled down to about 27 and then was whittled down to about seven. Now, I knew, I believe, four people that moved on to round two. And again, everyone's been whittled down since. Now, I do know one person in particular, a uh, girl that goes by the name Singing Samane, uh, on Twitter, on YouTube, on pretty much every form of social media, who is in the finals. Um, I'm not sure how many people are in the finals in particular. They did say it was going to be seven, but I think it's now about nine instead because they kind of broke their own rules a little bit. So I believe the winner was supposed to have been announced last night during New Year's. Um, either that or today for New Year's Day. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going into work right now, so I'm not going to be able to find out until I get home. But, Samane, you have come a long way. Uh, I remember when I first met you, how shy and reserved you seemed, and now you're on your way. 
Like, you deserve all the success in the world. You're a phenomenal voice actress. I'm proud to have worked with you in the past, and I can't wait to see what comes your way in the future. I know this is something you've wanted for a very long time, and I really hope you have the opportunity to show the world what you're made of, because you've got a lot going for you, and I'm very proud of you. So now onto a happier voice acting topic where I'm concerned. In four days, January 5th, the first episode of a project known as Black Crystal will be premiering. It is an original animation done by K Animation. Um, it's actually all done with pixel art, phenomenal looking pixel art. I'm very much attached to this project for a couple of reasons. One, I signed up for it three or four years ago. It's been a long time since I asked and agreed to be part of this project. Uh, but in addition, when I first, as a child, was starting to learn about graphic design, one of the things I did was I used photo, not Photoshop, I used um, uh, Windows Paint. You guys know the program I'm talking about. I don't think it exists anymore. I think they said they were getting rid of it. But what I would do is I would go through a picture and pixel by pixel, I would change it to make it look the way that I wanted it to. Uh, that was my first real experience with photo manipulation. So to see someone take that same concept of going through and developing an animation pixel by pixel was something that heavily appealed to me because that was where my graphic design experience first came from, was working with pixels like that. So when I found the project and signed on for it, I was really happy because that was something that really appealed to me. But in addition, it was also round about the time that I was starting to really get into Ruby, which was its own original animation. And I looked at this as something totally original. Up until this point, I had been doing mostly fan dubs or Sims machinima and things like that. And I wanted to start gravitating away from it even then. I wanted to get onto these new original projects. And this was really the first one that I found that like jumped off the page at me. So I got in contact with Kay, he and I talked, he actually had a character in mind for me. And like I said, January 5th, episode one's gonna premiere. I am the voice of Gen and the tiger god Biako as well. So guys, keep your eyes out for that. I'm gonna put a link to the, the YouTube channel in the description down below so you guys can go check that out. I hope you enjoy what you see in here because we've been working on this for a very long time and I'm very proud of the work that we've done and I can't wait to keep working on it. Like I said, episode one is only coming out short uh, in a few days. There are gonna be many more episodes to go through, so there's still a lot of work left to be done. So I wouldn't say that this past year has been a total wash, but it has been a rough one. The focus was primarily on moving down here to Texas, and like I said, now that that's done, I've gotta start looking toward the actual voice acting end of things. So once I get that demo reel in my hands, I'm hopefully gonna start bringing some stuff in for myself and for you guys to find out about. But as you can tell, I'm parked again, so here I am at work for yet another day of fun-filled IKEA activity. So I will see you guys soon, I will let you know what's happening and I will keep you as up to date as I possibly can as information becomes available. Take care.